Hi everyone. Now we will start a new topic. True view line items. What exactly the true view line item means? True view line item allows you to create compelling video campaigns with a range of formats to engage customers on YouTube and across the web on partner sites and apps. So true view line items lets a uh, advertiser to display its video creatives across YouTube and across the web and the partner sites or the partner apps. The format available through TrueView line item include TrueView in-stream. In-stream over here is solely represented towards the video creative and a video discovery, bumper and non-skippable ads. So TrueView line item is subdivided into three parts. First one, the in-stream, the discovery uh, video types and third one is the uh, bumper ads. The fourth one is the non-skippable. Sometimes a lot of uh, people while doing a training day, I actually they try to mix the in-stream and the video discovery into one. However, we have also included this into one particular section. So let's move further. Video ad formats in TrueView. TrueView in-stream. TrueView in is Google's proprietary cost per view choice based ad format. So in the very in the interview questions also it's been asked like what is a true view so just remember it's a google proprietary which states the cost per view or a choice based ad format that serves on youtube millions of apps and across the web and additionally true view gives advertiser more value because advertiser only have to pay for actual views of their ads rather than the impression so over here if you try to understand that there's more uh, you know visibility towards your uh, you know campaigns because an impression sometimes it's not viable or it's not a genuine impression that you're getting but over here you only get charged when you are actually you know your video creatives or your image is getting viewed rather than the impressions so that's one very good Part, or you can say the advantage of using the true view. Viewer can choose to skip the video ad after five seconds. If they choose not to skip, the video ad on YouTube ViewCom will be incremented when the viewers watches 30 seconds of the video ad. So now, if anybody skips the ad, like you know, five seconds, and actually they go on to 30 seconds, then they're gonna charge you. So actually, if you see from a very broader aspects, it plays a very vital role upon the impact that the campaign has made or the, you can say the brand awareness that you are spreading, you know, you're running a campaign, you're investing. So you, are, if you're selecting this option, if you're using a true view campaign, it gives you a very good, the user gets the better impact because you get charged when somebody views your complete ad. You know, if you have a one minute ad and after 30 seconds, till the 30 seconds, if you're uh, some, some user watches your video, then only you get charged rather than somebody who don't want to, uh, you know, uh, watch your message or listen to your message. If you get skipped after five seconds, you know, you're not getting charged for it. Let's move further. Now, true view and stream. When should you use it? How does it work? Where? Will ads appear? How will I be charged? So I have tried dividing these four questions so that it gives you a better understanding about the true view campaign. Use this format when you have video content you would like to promote alongside other videos on YouTube and partner sites and example. This means that you want to promote your video content along the other video sites. So over here in the course material, I have given a snapshot of the image that where exactly this ad appears. How does it work? Your video ad plays before, during or other videos. After 5 seconds, the viewer has an option to skip the ad. Now, whenever if, you are, if you, you're watch, your user is watching any uh, video or you know, listening to music, so whenever a video 
starts. So before that, whatever ads is getting displayed is being rendered by the help of the TrueView campaigns. Where will the ads appear? On YouTube video, partner site, games and app. The partner sites, games and app in the course material have listed down all the partner sites, the uh, premium partner sites available within uh, TrueView campaigns or you can say the BB360. So the advertiser has got the flexibility to select among the different partner sites available in the ecosystem. How will I be charged? You pay when a viewer watches 30 seconds of your video or the duration if it's shorter than 30 seconds or engages with your video, whichever come first. So the best part being over here that you get charged, you know, once the user actually watches your complete uh, 30 seconds video and that's a very good thing because that will impact your branding, it will impact your campaign and whatever is the return of investment is, is in an appropriate manner. Let's move further with the discovery campaigns. When should I use it? How does it work? Where will the ads appear? How will I be charged? Use this format to promote a video in place of discovery including a next to related video ads. So if, if you are using YouTube, so sometimes you see that the related videos is being promoted by uh, YouTube. So your ad can be listed, your you know, YouTube uh, message or the creative can be rendered out over there. So that's the discovery ad. And even in the course material, I've given a snapshot where exactly your ad appears if you're using a discovery ad format of TrueView campaign. How does it work? Your ad consists of thumbnail images from your video with some text while the exact size and appearance of the ad may vary depending upon where it appears. So exactly, you know, it's just a small thumbnail uh, next to other related videos where your, you know, video can compel somebody or can appeal somebody to click onto it or can show an interest, your user can show an interest. Where will the ad appear? YouTube search results, YouTube suggestions, video plays on YouTube watch or any channel page where you can render your particular uh, creators. How will I be charged? You will be charged only when the viewer chooses to watch your ad by clicking onto the thumbnail. So over here if you see that it will only, you know, you'll be charged when someone clicks onto it. So the moment it clicks, you'll get charged. If somebody is not clicking on it, you're not getting charged for it. So that's again one very good thing because you're trying to, uh, you know, compel or appeal to the user with the related videos what they are watching. So this ends the first part of the in-stream, uh, you know, TrueView campaign and the discovery ads. Later in the section, we will talk about the bumper ads and the non-skippable ads. Also, for both the types, we have uh, given a screenshot onto the course material. If in case anybody has a questions or doubt, they can leave the question onto the comment section. We would love to go ahead and answer those. Thank you.